Hello level friends, this week level 9.22.0 was released so let's take a look together at what the team has cooked up for us this time. Let's go. We are starting with another artisan edition. So in the last week Nuno Maduro was working on giving artisan comments a fresh new look. We are going to continue this journey in this week's release. This time the artisan surf comment received an update. On the left you can see the old look which is a bit messy especially if we trigger some requests and you see them incoming. While on the right the new version you can see that it looks very shiny. It's crazy how a few little changes here and there make the output much more readable than before like the info, the warning or the list for the requests here at the end. Also this new list looks very similar to other comments we now have already updated in levels so it's great for consistency overall. Thank you Nuno. Next Delova Hossein and Tim McDonald added an attached many method to mailables. Here we have a mailable for sending out invoices and we have already attached one file. If we want to send out now multiple attachments, we can now use the attach many method. For every file we can specify the path but also the name and type in an array very similar to how you did this before. Sending multiple files was already possible before in the past but you had to chain multiple attach methods. So this means from now on you can choose what better fits your needs and your style. Thank you Delover and Tim. Then Elshino contributed the ability to get rid of conditions when working with mail message lines. Let me show you what that means. Here we have a notification cloud that runs through the mail channel. That's also why we have here this two mail method where we define the content of the email. Let's now say the last line should only run if the user has a trial account. So this means we need a condition here. In the past you had to store now the message to a variable, then add the check and then return the message again. It works but it doesn't look good. Now there is a new line if method that you can use where you can provide the condition directly to the method as the first argument and then the message body as the second one. Doesn't this look way cleaner? I'm a big fan of such additions where the addition is not that big or provide many more features but give you a more nicer and clean way to write your code. Thank you Al. Next, Luke Downing added fluent file validation rules to the framework. Here we are validating a request which contains a file and an image and both of them have a lot of rules. The new file validation rules work very similar to the password rules that you might already have seen. They look something like this. Now we can also use a file object very similar to the password and chain the rules fluently on it. As you can see it supports a lot of different rules and is easily chained one after each other. This looks very clean to me and I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this new fluently file validation. Nice work, thank you Luke. And last, Douglas Maderos added new hash algorithm for files. Before this release, when using the hash method on a file, MD5 was always used for hashing. You can see that MD5 is still the default here. But we now have a second argument we can add to change it. So for example, you can use a different algorithm now like the SHA256 or the SHA512. So it's nice that you have some more options here. Thank you, Douglas. All right, that's it for the Laravel 9.22.0 release. I hope you're happy about the new additions. See you the next time. Bye. And last, Douglas Madame. And last, Douglas Maderos, Douglas Maderos, Douglas Maderos.